So right about now, it's time for a history of bass. You all know what it is. This week in the hot seat, we have Goldie. How you doing, my brother? Your word. What's up? What's going on? How are you? Good. Just want to live, like you say. <laughs> Just want to live. <laughs> if you've been listening to the show for the last couple of weeks, you will know that is my mantra. Yeah. That's his, that's his uh, new catchphrase. You, is it? The, the t-shirts will be in the stores soon. Yeah, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Three, two, one, dusty bin. Win that. But um, <laughs> yes, we do have Goldie on on with us and yeah. uh, thanks for joining us it's, it's, it's good it's yeah. good man it's good it's good to be here I'm surprised and, uh, you haven't been up here before with us I know it's just, actually I haven't actually been in this new building to be honest it's kind of swagger isn't it in here it's kind of really swag we really like it here it's nice we it's feel nice. like real presenters now. I went past the other uh, the old radio one place just now. There's like bushes blowing past the door. And like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like it's just a queue of old people going in there. It's mad. <laughs> this is nice. This is this is like this is like Reuters. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, we were kind of having to kick it off and say happy birthday anyway. Ah, thank you. Um, to the label. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's it's not my yeah. birthday, by the way. It's the label's birthday. <laughs> yeah, we know yeah. this. No, but uh, we've been here for a minute, you know. And uh, twenty years. I know, it's, 20 uh, years. it's a bit more than a minute. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I, I, if people say to you, would you still, could you imagine being here? Yes. Uh, no, I just think it's, I just think it's come a long way. And I was coming into the building and looking at all these people. And I remember when we were getting pulled out of radio stations just for taking this urban music in there, trying to get on a playlist. Yeah. And that's all changed completely. And, uh, you know, you look at, you look at Shadow, you look at, um, you know, you look at Ram and those original labels. And the labels before that, even labels that were like, you know, on Potential Bad Boy and, you know, and Kickman Records, for me, was really the, the real, you know, shut up and dance records, humble, hippie and funky dread out of Archway. There's some really amazing stuff that really laid the foundation, really, for this. So, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good to still be here, man, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm se- I was, when I was 17, I went to New York, green, wet behind the ears, you know, to the South Bronx, the Bronx River, to start my whole graffiti thing. And uh, that's 30 years ago. <laughs> Some real. So, so yeah. We weren't even on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I wasn't even a twinkle in my dad's eye at that <laughs> Well, it's mad, you know, I was in Hit Factory with KRS doing doing uh, the track that he did for me on the, on, the, on, the, on the second album. And I remember going there and, and, and breakdancing at Laughters and the Roxy. Mm. You know what I mean? When, when people were actually breaking on the side of the street with, with a drummer. And, um, you know, it's uh, it, 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 you can sit there and get melancholy about it, but for me, that journey, you know, that was the outboard, man. Do you know what I mean? That, was, that wasn't that in the hard drive. That was out there in the journey. So it's a beautiful thing to come back. And I think the whole mentality with the label um, was about crew, was about getting together and having a, a whole bunch of guys, you know, just trying to do these styles of music that was in one kind of style. Do you know what I mean? And that's, that's what the important thing was. And, and um, yeah, it's beautiful. Do you reckon we'll be celebrating 40? Uh, me, you never know, mate. With all the yoga I'm doing, mate, I'm putting out of your orchid. I'm a man. Do you know oh, what? You I know, I'm think. talking about the yeah. label. Do we yeah. the label? <laughs> yeah, forty. Hopefully, yeah. I ain't mad at you, but there's not many people that we could say have been in the music industry to this level for twenty years. Can you think of anyone? That's the uh, one for uh, you, Oliver. No, no. no. Uh, to be, uh, uh, if you don't mind me saying, that, I, you have been extremely influential over the last 100%. over the last twenty years. It, to to all. Uh, to all on all aspects, uh, yeah. whether it be music, sort of film. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. it. I don't know. No, I didn't really know. Like we, we if my, everyone knows, but if, if some people might might just might just know you off the telly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah like yeah. and not actually know that there's been. There's more than a shiny shoe and some dancing shoes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, listen. Tell us about the new album. Um, well, the Alchemist is out in in in, uh, in March, and uh, I wanted to kind of collate. What I felt was the waypoints, little canvases of my work, and 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 I mean art for me. That's what it is, and it's not everyone's bag. But I can look at that music and look back on it, be my outboard and listen to it and go, yeah, that's when I was going through this. That's when I was going through that. And you know, it's it's kind of mental. I mean, there's there's a track on there that was one of your favourite tunes, which Sometimes Sad Day, which you always cited oh, like, yeah. one of the tunes. That yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but then I think about Sea of Tears, and it was leaving Miami and having to go and bury my stepdad and come back here when I had a life in America and. And for me, it's really important and, and good waypoints for me to be able to remember them tunes and also to have closure on that era for me. And, and I've got an artist album in, in the winter uh, called The Pages, which I've been working on. Four tracks into that, got some great artists, Burial, uh, Josie James, Foltec. Um, nice. And a few people who heard it here with. first. You heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things I've always wanted to, 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 to get involved 
with art and music. And you know, when you when you're young and you're aspiring to music and you think, I want to do that. I want to be, want to be Bengal. I want to be Scream. I want to be, you know, Ronnie. So I want to be, I want to be whoever Groove or Fabio and all these, you know, friction. You know, you got to start somewhere. And and we had a really, really good old school way of learning that and taking on board from from our peers. And that's important, man. Really yeah, important. Sick. But yeah, so um. Here I am, still here. <laughs> still here. We're happy wheel that me you out. Are. Wheel me out. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna take me to Bikram and we're gonna have it. It's so. it's Bikram. Oh yeah, Friday then. Yeah, we'll do that. Next week. <laughs> yeah. Next week it's on Goldie it's on. to Bikram and we'll give you the update. If, yeah, if Benny's give... if Benny's still here, then he yeah. never went. <laughs> yeah, just just for, the, for those of you that don't know, don't know, but, you know, Benny's give it the one. He's been giving it for a long time on this one. It's long. It's becoming like a catchphrase itself. Yeah, but it's long. So I said to him, Friday, 9.30, Key Coast Calf, we're there. Big crime, his first session. Get in there, son. I'm more than ready. All right. I guess the next thing is, because we've seen you in a lot of things, and we always know you're move, moving on something new. What else are you doing at the moment that's non-music? Well, Lost Tribes in August, um, that is going to be a big show. 18 pieces of new work, which I, I started, bloody hell, I started this stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Apprentice. yeah. I started this uh, uh, a year, 13 months ago, just over a year. And um, I've got six images to go, and that's going to be a really major show. Um, and probably my best work I've ever done, really, based on lost tribes from, from Africa to South America to North America, all on sustainable wood. So I'm doing that. So watch out for that. And then Saatchi and Saatchi at the Science Museum. We've got the whole Cine Temple Timeless thing live with orchestra, full orchestration. Oh, is, that, uh, is that not happening yet, though? Yeah, that's not happening yet. Oh, right. He'd be sitting wow. there, maybe, if he was. But yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> I've, um, that's been three years in the go. You know, it's been one of them ongoing things you're waiting to deal with and you've always got to deal with the kind of technical side of that. Um, but yeah, and apart from that, just really, you know, just, just dealing with a good life, watching the kids grow up and, you know, and uh, it's nice. It's just good. Life's good. Life is good. <laughs> so, right, the whole reason you're here, well, not the whole reason. I thought you were carrying your boxes in here and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Am I just, oh, um, we'll go. okay. I'll, be, I'll take it back downstairs then, guys. <laughs> right. right, it's the history of bass and 100 tracks. Goldie, would you uh, like to... Tell us what you've picked and, and why. Right. Um, well, when I was rowdy like you lot, you know, like some young <laughs> tight skin, um, I was, uh, I used to go to Rage and uh, for me, the track that really stood out the most, you know, when I started making music and I thought I was kind of getting good with it and all of a sudden this kind of dark, kind of quite, quite, you know, kind of gully track at the time, really hardcore thing called um, Let's Get Together by a group of guys called Satin Storm. And when I first heard Ryder play this tune, pss, that was it. I jumped out of my skin, the hair stood up, game over. I had to go back to the drawing board. And you know, you listen to it now and it's just rough. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, you, but for me, the euphoria of that track summed up what this was going on in the underground and it was powerful to me. Powerful. Powerful! <laughs> Does it bring back any memories? Uh, crazy it just happen? brings memories of, of sitting there thinking, what have I got this big thick coat on for? And all these guys on podiums giving it large with no tops. I'm going, let's have it! <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I just come off the, off the back of, you know, living in Miami and, you know, going Birmingham, New York, Miami, London. And uh, the whole concept of rave and everything else and observing that was like, there's a whole new culture here, man, and it's going to take over the world. And of course, it has. Yeah. Um, and and uh, yeah, just being just being enraged with the lights down, dark as you like, couldn't see anybody, only the laser, and that was it. Let's have it. I think I've got one more question for you, seeing as you have been around and yeah. you have helped a lot of artists sculpt their sound. Mm. Do you do you like the state of dance music now? Do you think it's progressed in the right way? Um, I think I think the side of it's become very commercial, and I think it's just you can't help the culture spreading like, or, you know, you've got this whole big thing with EDM now and EDM UK and EDM Europe and EDM <laughs> America. And I'm like, please leave it out. You know, I'm just a genre man. I'm only, I'm all about the genres of music that come out of this country. And to be fair, when it was punk, when it was dubstep, when it was rock, you know, kind of early rock kind of bands, you, mm -hmm. you can't, you can't knock UK for its creativity in that sense. Completely agree. And um, yep. we've, we've taken what, something very, very small, an idea. Even when it comes down to fashion, you take a small idea. And when it blows up and it goes to the States, it just blows up mm -hmm. and it becomes this this bigger thing. And and of course, then it's going to be all the questions of what, what really is drum and bass music? What really is <laughs> dubstep? What kind of dubstep are you talking about? You know, and, and people just try and break it down. But you have to understand, as long as you... I think the fear of change is anyone that's not prepared to carry on. At the end of the day, yeah. culture is what it says on the tin. You look in the dictionary... It's culture. It will constantly move. Yeah. Um, and I think that the, the machines are right. We didn't have the machine that you have now. 
the support mechanism and the structure that he has now. Yeah, it's, um, a, lot, it's a lot more present. It's not so, so alien. It's not so alien. No. You know what I mean? We, you know, you go to the club, you get the flyer and you work it out for next week. You don't hear them tunes again. Yeah. Until that week comes or, you know, you don't have the shows you've got now. And I think from the social media point of view, it's it's kind of wicked. But I, I always look at technology as the velvet claw. If you don't apply yourself to it, then you might as well just be pressing buttons, to be fair. Yeah, and yeah. Um, and I think that's why Motown or why, you know, 70s music was so beautiful um, because he didn't have the technology as much. And the 90s challenged that technology as opposed to just going along with it. Mm-hmm. But it's a different era. It's a different time. And I just think that next year will be even better. I think it will settle more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm And that's the that. difference. Do you know what I mean? Because this is new, really, when you think about it. It's been around a long time, but the technology now, in the last 10 years, let's say, yeah. psh, forget it, mate. You you know, you, we, you, 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 you're putting stuff on a desk and spinning it back to DAT and re-recording it just on a DAT to the desk, and that was it. Yeah. So, you know, it's come a long way in that. And I think I just think a whole new generation are going to start kind of rebelling against the technology in a good way, you know what I mean? And uh, and utilising that. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all right. I think he's spot on with that and I'm going to call you the Oracle from now on. <laughs> You're uh, the Oracle to me. <laughs> <laughs> you are, because listen, everyone's going back to... I'm not saying anything. Right. No, you, you said it all. He, he, he smashed it. Are you you, got, you, got, oh, are you, you want to start taking the, t- the, the beans off here, taking the, tin out of, the beans out of the tin. I think the DJ culture is what accelerated the music. Nothing yeah. else. If the thing, if the deck was stuck at mine, I'd stuck right in the middle, if it was stuck right at the middle, then the music would have stayed there. And I think that I think the DJs would have wanted to accelerate your drum and bass to catastrophic speeds, if you like. Because yeah. you can't put a harmony in, in 190, you understand? Yeah, sure. And and I think the whole thing with that is that, you know, music is kind of almost pops out of the atmosphere and it's popped into its own gravity now where it's kind of weightless where you've gone back around. Yeah, and people are quoting hardcore. I'm hearing tunes now that are that people wouldn't dare play ten years ago. Yeah. So in that respect, it's a good thing. You know mm. what I mean? And um, and I think I think you need to reset with anything. I think you can. That's what happens when the technology kind of gets out of control. It's a car. I ain't got no brakes for this thing. I don't have to use it probably. I definitely think that the, the thing of of everything settling and calming down is definitely something we're going to see over the next definitely. over the next so, year. Because Oracle. Yeah, it's it's definitely. not going to be it's not going to be so set. I think everyone's going to get bored of arguing. About what's what and and who's it's not even bored of arguing. It's getting Let the oracle it's, speak. It's just getting no. It's just getting. It's also getting the fact that you know once you like you do take FM eight out of the frame, or you take it when the nineties you take out the S one thousand out of the frame and a DAP machine out of the frame, then it changes everything. Mm-hmm. But it's what the apl- application of you to that to that music yeah. is, and mm-hmm. that's going to really sell because everyone's caught up already. Yeah. You know, you hear when you hear a tune now, are you hearing the, the, the software? Or are you hearing? Or you hearing someone's writing ability? Yeah. Hallelujah! Right. So there you go. Hallelujah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hallelujah! I said it. God damn it! <laughs> right. It right, has listen. been educational. Go on, scream. And from that, Goldie, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>